got something here. Oh my gosh, we cast netted a sheep's head. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that's a first. All right, Fishaholic family, welcome back to another episode. So yesterday was when we were throwing the cast net and caught that sheep's head. And that has given me an idea for today's episode. So I went to a local bait shop and picked up a couple dozen live shrimp. And we're gonna take the kayak down to the river and fish around some hard structure and uh, see if we can get on a little sheep's head bite uh, up in the river. I haven't really targeted them yet since I've been down here, but uh, being that we got one in the cast net, I'm assuming that there is a good chance there could be quite a few of them up in the river now. So let's go see if we can bend the rod a little bit, have some fun and maybe even catch a couple for dinner. All right, well, we're gonna start off by just hitting some docks and uh, I guess some channel markers. And my fish finder power cord is still out of commission, so I just ordered the new one. So we're gonna fish without a fish finder, but this is like the perfect kind of fishing to uh, do without a fish finder because a lot of the structure is gonna be visual. And uh, like right here, like this looks like a good spot that a, sh a sheep could be hanging on. And I'm just gonna Hook this little shrimp right on the tail, just like that. And that should be perfect for a sheep if they're here. Oh, just had a bite, <laughs> got cleaned off. Ah, oh, got cleaned off again. Let's go out to that channel marker. It's gonna be a little bit deeper out here probably. There's a fish. Oh no. Not what I was hoping for. Oh, another catfish. All right, let's cut across the river to uh, some deeper water along some concrete, like hard dock structure, maybe even some bridges we could hit. I was thinking this will be a good spot because of all the structure, of course, but uh, this tide is coming in and we have like a little bit of shelter here from the current, like the main flow of current. And uh, maybe the fish will be here feeding because they have, they'll have the same shelter from the main rip. Fish on. Oh, we got a snapper. These guys actually have to be 10 inches to keep. I might just measure him quick to see how far he is, to see if he's anywhere close. All right, just about nine inches. Huh. Might be a 10 incher here that we can catch. Oh. Something, something followed it up and hit it. Oh, it's a nice snook. Ooh, yeah. Right, pretty cool surprise catch. That's the thing when you're fishing with shrimp, especially in Florida, you have a chance of catching anything. Not a bad one right there. Let's see how long he is. About 24 and three quarters. But he's really thick and round. Definitely been eating well off this bridge. So I'm noticing there's a bunch of small, like one to two inch little shrimp sitting right in this corner. Cause every single time I make a cast, they see them jump out of the water. So that's probably why this snook was here and, and why he ate this shrimp. He, well, he probably was like, oh my God, look at that Mondo shrimp. And he just came in and nailed it like right in front of the kayak. He didn't want to let it get away. <laughs> Something a little better. Oh, another snook. Woo! 
hot shrimp snook bite. Oh, just popped the hook. Just got thumped. Oh, that's another snook probably. Oh. All right, let's try one more shrimp here. And if we don't get a sheep, we all move in. Oh, just got eight. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, he's back. Got him. What do we got this time? Oh, ladyfish. Ah, oh, look at that. Shot out poop all over my leg. Shit. All right, well, we're not catching sheep's head at the bridge and the bike kind of slowed after the ladyfish. And we are down to our last four shrimp. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna hit one more dock, I think, that's uh, up inside the river more, that's uh, kind of back towards the launch and uh, has potential, you know, probably won't have sheep's head there, but we're gonna try it. And on the way there, we're gonna just throw around the brand new badass baby brother four inch Fishaholic pinback shad and uh, see if we can get some snook on this so we're not sacrificing the few shrimp that we have left. And uh, we'll see if we can get just a few more bites and uh, use up the rest of the shrimp and then we'll probably go back to uh, primarily targeting snook until uh, the sun goes down and uh, uh, we'll call it a day. Oh, check this out. We got fish busting on top like crazy. Looks like big jacks chasing mullet. We just, you know, fished the bridge and some of the marina here and then we were gonna cut across and hit the dock for sheep's head on the far side and these jacks just popped up right here in the middle. They were... Oh, just got swirled on. See that? There's one. Woo yeah. On the little forage shed. <laughs> yeah. Blind casting them too. Oh my God. They're like shaking my whole body. <laughs> Woo. Now we're going for a sleigh ride. Oh, I love that sound. This fish is gonna pull us all the way across the river. <laughs> Using my seven foot six, medium fast, dark matter, fishaholic spinning rod, paired with the 4000 Stratic. And there's only 10 pound green moss power pro braid on here, but a 40 pound leader. So we can put a little more pressure to them, but I'm still gonna play them easy until the net is underneath them. Bulldog in me now. Oh no. Some of the blow-ups I was seeing were crazy. The jacks were flying out of the water, trying to <laughs> get the bait that's flying out of the water. You know, mullet are a pretty smart bait fish and they, they know how to not get eaten. Here 
you're good. You're good. barely lift this fish up. It's a good fish. Now I'm trying to really baby this fish because these uh, four inch shads on the half ounce or three eighths ounce jig heads are not meant or designed for catching big jacks like this. I mean the mullet they were chasing was like 12 to 15 inches. You know if I had a bigger shad tied on I probably would have threw it but I just wanted to uh, get them while they were there. Didn't want to waste any time. Getting tired though. Or not. Every time you say that when you're fighting a big fish, it's like they hear you. <laughs> oh, swam up, up towards me a little bit. And he's like, uh uh, I don't like the sight of that. Doesn't like the bottom of my kayak. Takes me right back down. Oh, I thought he was done. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, still haven't seen him yet. I think we almost are there. Come on. Almost got color. Come on, baby. Look at that rod. It's like doubled over. This is really not the tackle for this kind of fishing. Just when you think he's done. Oh, that might have been his last run. He, oh, we got color. We got color. Donkey Jack. 
Hopefully so you guys see this fish if we get him in the net. Oh, please stay hooked. Please stay hooked, baby. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Woo! We got him! <laughs> Look at the size of that jack! <laughs> Woo! On the little forage, fishaholic fin bag shad. Probably the biggest fish that this little bait has ever caught for me. And uh, this is actually the first one that I fished with after the prototype stage. So to catch a fish like this, basically the first day, really throw in the final product. Oh, can't imagine how pumped I am right now. And on such a light setup. Woo Should put her on the fish gripper. And drag her in the water a little bit to revive her. And I've held a lot of 30, 35 pound fish in my life. And I feel like this fish is right around that 30 pound mark. I've held a lot of fish bigger than that. And you know, I know what they feel like. There she goes. Well, that's gonna make my day. Uh, do we go for sheep's head now? Like, how do we go for sheep's head after catching a fish like that right now? Oh man. I guess we'll try, we have four shrimp left. But that fish literally fought us all the way across the river. And uh, the spot I wanted to go try is over on the opposite side. Oh. But, you know, we'll paddle over there and who knows, maybe we'll see some more jacks busting on top. And uh, hopefully we can end the day with uh, just uh, catching some fish on the last few shrimp we have. And, Maybe by, you know, maybe we'll still have a little bit of daylight after that to uh, do something else with uh, <laughs> the little four inch fishaholic pin bag shad. Whew. And look at that little hook. It was bent out a little bit, but was able to uh, hold up just enough for us to get that fish. That was probably like a 15 minute battle, like no joke, or maybe longer, I don't know. But, uh, whoo, <laughs> I made my day. All right, we're just gonna hit this dock right here. Looks pretty good, and I like that there's not a ton of current here. So maybe this will be a little better for sheeps. Oh, look at that in there. There's like pilings in the middle of this little square pilings. How could there not be a sheep set in here? Snappa. These guys are following me everywhere today. Shame they're not bigger. <sighs> Sheep? Oh no, snook. On any other day when I'm targeting snook, I'd be, you know, really happy with uh, our little snook bite that we got on today. But, you know, it's funny how it works when you want to catch a certain species. Sometimes it's tough and you catch everything else. Got them right on the tongue. Sorry, bud. I'll admit, this one I kind of wanted to catch because I had a feeling he'd be there and it would be much easier than trying to catch a ship, a, sh a sheep <laughs> by now at this point. Perfect little snook. They're cool fish.
right, well, unfortunately, I think it's time for the outro. We're out of baits, and that sun is just about touching the tops of the trees. But uh, we're not done fishing just yet. You know, I've got to try tying back on the little four inch fishaholic shad, and we're going to take one big circle of the river here and see if we see any more jacks popping on top and see if I can get another. If I do, then uh, I will show it at the end of this video. If not, then I'm just going to close it out here, and I guess we'll have to save another day for a sheep's head fishing mission. And uh, it's not that I don't have spots like elsewhere where I can go and catch them. I, I do actually, but uh, being that we got the one yesterday in the cast net, I just wanted to come out here and see if we could dial in on the sheep's head that are in the river here. Cause I've only caught a couple ever, you know, one being the one in the net. So I'd like to kind of figure them out. And uh, you know, one day once we do, or maybe once the time of the season is right, maybe there's not a whole lot of them in here. Maybe we just got lucky and we cast netted one, or maybe a lot of them are further up river. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna find out. And uh, I'm not really sure when this video is gonna go up, but uh, if it's before Christmas or even after, you know, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays and uh, Happy New Year. So uh, until the next video, like always, live to fish, fish to live. Fish, good fish. Oh, we lost them. Oh, what the heck?